Actually, I'm not a research student in a university. I'm an investigative photographer. Photographer. I imagine what a scoop it'd be if I got a picture of that monster. That's why I was camping by the lake. But that's all I was hiding. When I heard the bang, I looked right straight at the uh, lake. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched the boat the whole time. Then I saw a flash near one of the man's hands, and I heard another gunshot. I was looking right at that boat the whole time, crossed my heart and hoped to fry. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine a witness. Your the witness's testimony is unchanged from before. Whether she's a research student or photographer has no bearing on this case. There is no need to waste any more of uh, more of our time for another pointless cross-examination. Um. Hmm. I claim the defense's right to cross-examine a witness, Your Honor. Fuck Harvey's up to something. I know it. He doesn't want me to cross-examine her because why? Was there a contradiction? Very well. You may cross-examine the witness. You seem sure of yourself. You must have something in mind. Ha! That would be a first. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny, you piece of shit. You understand that this is your last chance of a, at a cross-examination, Mr. Wright. If there is no problem with your testimony this time, we will let the witness leave. I will announce my verdict at that time, Mr. Wright. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. Man. <sighs> well... One thing kind of did stick out. It, it might not be noticeable, but... Um... Here's where I believe it's at. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched the boat the whole time. Well... Why wouldn't she look, keep scanning the lake for the monster? Miss Hart! Were you really looking at that boat? What's with you? Of course I was looking at it. I was the only thing out there. Any normal person would be looking at it. I agree. Any normal person would. But you are far from normal. What? You don't want to stop over here and say that? You were camping at the lake to take a picture of Gordy. Think about it. Why? What would you do if you heard a loud noise? You'd be scanning the lake for any sign of Gordy, that's what. You wouldn't give the boat a second thought. True. Order! Continue, Mr. Wright. You testified that you were watching the boat through binoculars. However, you weren't you wouldn't need binoculars to watch that boat. You need them to search for Gordy, and that's what you were doing. Well? <laughs> well, now that y'all mention it, I did sort of take my binoculars and kind of scan the lake a bit. I mean, Gordy might be out there, no? Miss Hart! Are you saying that you were not watching the boat then? Sorry, y'all. I wasn't fibbing, really. I was just... I thought, you know, I could be a witness to a murder and all. I kind of got excited. I was I was sure I was watching that boat till now. This this is totally uncalled for. But but hey, you got the photograph. You got proof. Hmm. Still, we can't see who, in, uh, who is shooting in the, with the. Uh, we can't see who is shooting who, who in this. Who's shooting who in this? Dear God. Right, right. That's why I took this photo and. Wait, what? Witness! That's enough! You've had a long day. Shut your pie hole! Sh shut my what? What was she gonna say? She took the photo and what? Wait a second. She even had a photograph to prove it. But you really can't tell from the photo who's shooting. That's why she says she's going to enlarge the photo. She said I'll drop the quality of might, but should be but should let us see who's who. She enlarged that photo. Why won't Von Kummer let her show it? I've got a punch. I bet that large photo shows something bad for Von Karma. This is my chance. If I'm wrong, though, it'll be prison for Edgeworth. Or worse. What should I do? Make her show it. Miss Hart! Look at this photograph! You enlarged this photograph, did you not? Yeah, I did. 
Why was that Lawrenceman not been presented to the court? Because it does not exist. What are y'all talking about? You were the one who told me not to show it in the court in the first place. You old fool. Oh ho ho ho! What's the meaning of this, Mr. Von Karma? Uh, uh. Miss Hart! Show the photo to the court! Show us the enlargement! The prosecution objects to the submission of this evidence. Objection denied. The witness will show the enlargement to the court. Here it is. You still can't see who it is. Hmm. You still can't see who is firing in this. Could be the defendant, or maybe it's not. Regardless, I'll accept this as evidence. Happy now, Mr. Wright. Hmm. There has to be something. You asked for the enlargement. You got the enlargement. And little good it has done any for any of us. That's why I requested she not show it. Hmm. I suppose this means that the cross examination is over, obviously. Then I would like to close the cross examination of Miss Lotta Hart. And none too soon. I was a flagrant, wa flagrant race waste of my time. Mr. Von Karma, do you have anything to add? I stated everything I needed to when the trial began. Decisive evidence, a decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Nothing, of course. Then I believe it is time for me to declare my verdict. Wait, it's not supposed to go like this! There has to be a clue in this photo... somewhere! This is bad. Real bad. Uh... Your Honor, there is something de decisively strange with this enlargement. What might that be? Mr. Wright, you will show the court what you mean. What about this photo is strange? Okay, here goes nothing. I'll show a judge what's strange about this photo. And maybe you guys can see it too. Um, according to the uh, court record and the testimonies, um, the fingerprint of uh, Edgeworth, his right hand, the fin his, uh, fingerprints from his right hand are found in the murder weapon. You look at this photo and you tell me that's is that his right hand or left hand? Here, Your Honor. The shooter? I'm not sure I understand. What about the shooter is strange? Look at the hand holding the pistol, Your Honor. The hand? That hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. This man's left hand does what? Let me show you. I'll show you the evidence that left hand contradicts. And that would be the pistol, actually. Because it says, bears prints from Edgeworth's right hand. The evidence is clear. The man in this photograph is holding that pistol in his left hand. However, the prints on the murder weapon were from Edgeworth's right hand. Ergo, oh god, he's pulled off an Edgeworth. The man shooting the pistol in his photograph is not Mr. Edgeworth! Now that everyone in the courtroom has quieted down, I would like to reconvene this court of law. Mr. Wright. Yes, Mr. Wright. Or, Your Honor. Oop. Be right back. Okay, damn interruptions, but I'm almost there. You have given us defin definitive proof today. We now know that it was not Mr. Edgeworth who fired a pistol that night. However... This leaves us with a rather large problem. If Mr. Edgeworth didn't do it, then who shot our victim? Precisely. And as we have seen, there were no other people on the lake that night. Who but the defendant could have shot the victim? <laughs> Miss Hart or Larry, wow. Well, remember, um, Edgeworth's claim, he, he thought maybe it could be the uh, victim himself. There's only one explanation remaining. 
The man who shot the victim was none other than the victim himself. Oh. Order, order. So, are you saying that the victim committed suicide? Yes, Your Honor. I can think of no other explanation. Hmm. Indeed, that does seem to be the only remaining option. I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. The suicide is out of the question. What? Examination of the victim's wound reveals the distance in which he was shot. The distance? The victim was clearly shot from further than a meter away. A meter? That's three, three feet! Oh, thank you for the math lesson there. There's no way it could have been suicide. Unless the guy was like, very abnormally tall and had really long limbs. Order, order! Mr. Von Karma, are you sure of the accuracy of your data? Of course. I had, only, I had already considered a possibility of suicide, you see. So it wasn't suicide. Hmm. I see. Very well. Allow me to state my opinion. Considering the situation, a shooter had to be the defendant, Mr. Edgeworth. However, the prints on the gun reveal that the shooter was not Mr. Edgeworth. This is a conundrum. Therefore, I would like to suspend proceedings for this trial for today. The court orders the defense and the prosecution to further investigate this matter. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. That is all. The court is adjourned. Wow. Okay. Oh, that was a close one. Hey, uh, don't you have anything to say? No, I've yet to be declared innocent, right? Yeah, well, but what happened out there on the lake anyway? If he didn't commit suicide, then who? The shooter was about a meter away, too. What? D don't give me that look. I did not kill him. I was just asking. I was just kidding around. <sighs> look, I'm gonna go check on Maya. Oh, right. What? Tell her something for me. What? Tell... Tell her to watch what she says in court. That's all. Yeah, I'll be sure to be happy to hear that if you say that, Edgeworth. Sure, Rick. I requisitioned a transcript of Lada's entire testimony. I thought it might give me some am ammunition for a trial tomorrow. Of course, she didn't see the shooter, so the only part of her testimony that stood was that bang she heard. Oh, okay guys, well... That was the first trial in the... Uh, first investigation, first trial. And, well... It... It just gets better, guys. This barely scratches the surface of what the hell is really going to happen. Just stay tuned and, uh, yeah. But I'll actually, I'm going to stop recording for right now because, um, Von Karma's voice really does, uh, <laughs> it's making my throat, like, really scratchy and I can't really talk right at the moment. So, uh, I'm just going to stop recording for right now and, uh, yeah. So as usual, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney for Nintendo DS. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later.